and Maeve. Let's do this. I'm not kidding. My hips are really sore from Monday. I love it though. I, I get really excited for that. We're going to start here and just kind of go a little rock side to side. We want to get some mobility in the hips before we start to work them. Good. Heels in, toes open. Drop. Gonna get our heart rate up a little bit. We're gonna get nice and warmed up so that your body is ready to receive all this good stuff. If you're just coming in, I'm Maeve. I'll say that again in like, I don't know, five minutes. So good. Good. Bring it up. You're gonna tip off into one leg. I don't care which one it is. Side. Side. Yes. Four more here. Bring it here. Cross, open. Good. If it's your first time here, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I said this Monday, I'm going to say it every time, in case is anybody new. You came here to work. I came here to challenge you. Everything can be modified. Use your, your intuition, use your intelligence to change it if you need to. I do give lots of options. You can also just skip stuff. But when something's challenging or hard or not doable because your body doesn't like it, it shouldn't be a deterrent to keep going. You just do something else. And is there a better modality than this to do that, right? It's like zero peer pressure. One more, one more. Tip off to the other side. Lift. It's a big side bend. Again. Twist it. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Two more, one more, beautiful. Dumbbell, one of one. You only need one or anything you can hold something with some weight. You can also do this without weight. Elbow, knee come together, squeeze back. So elbow, knee together, a little standing crunch, hold it up, hip extension back. Do your best not to arch your back here. Glute. Yeah. 
Yes. Hi, y'all. Now you're here. that standing leg, right? One more, one more. Yeah. Beautiful. Switch the arms. Start with it up. Knee comes up. Back. So when you're taking that hip extension, when you're taking that leg back, it doesn't mean that you're not using abs here. You are. You are pulling back to contain your center. Yes. Yes. Mm-hmm. There is some hip flexor here. This pull up here. Mm -hmm. When you take the leg back, think about opening up the front of the hip and kind of getting a little stretch there. Squeeze that glute. Two more, please. One more. Beautiful. Weight down. You come down. All right, you're starting on hands and knees. Right hand comes behind your head. You're gonna take your right elbow toward your uh, left wrist. You're gonna roll it open. You open up. You bring it down. You open it up, side plank. Oh, you know there's a change coming, right? Of course, it's an optional change. First option is you lift both of your knees. Second option is you float the knees. They never actually touch. Oh, isn't that fun? We call that beast position. I don't know why. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Two more, let's go. One more, one more, one more. Hold it here. Open up and breathe. Hold it. Hold four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Second side. Second side. We start easy. So get like the get the pattern of the movement in your body. Hand behind the head. Come down. Open up. Roll open. Maybe the knees both lift. You have tons of time to go through the movement pattern. Here's my big ask, is that you're in control the whole time. Your knees don't come smashing down. That's where your abs kick in. Maybe float the knees. So good. Like it really rough. Come on. Doing things that are a little awkward, a little out of our normal wheelhouse, make us stronger, stimulate muscle growth, brain growth. Yeah. And I'm not just talking about exercise, right? It's not just movement. It translates to everything. Mm -hmm. 
Last one. Open up, hold it. And then bring it down. Ooh, excellent. Mm, just you. In case you didn't notice and you came in late, I have on ankle weights. You don't have to, but if you have some, this would be a great time to put them on. Right leg extends out. Bring your hands to your belly. Start to imprint your low back down. Shoulders come up, hands support. Just little lift, torso only. Focus on shortening this abdominal cavity right here. So from sternum to pubic bone. There's much less to do with your shoulders and your head coming up. Think about shortening. Don't think about lifting your shoulder and your head. Cause and effect. Don't just focus on the end result. What's creating the movement? Hold it up. Leg lifts and down. You need to put your shoulders down, go for it. If you can, hold here for as long as you can. Exhale, inhale. You notice my leg's not even going that high. It's not even going as high as this knee. Lift up a little higher if you can, last few. Good, now watch. Pull, stretch, cross, stretch. All one side. Think left rib cage toward right thigh. Last four. Three. Cha cha. Two more. Shoulder and head down. Right leg up. Left foot flat. Arms at your side. Straight up, lift, come down, single leg bridge. Feel that whole left foot imprinting down. Hold this one up, hold it up, hold it up. Your right leg's just gonna go like a little bit left, a little bit right. So when I do that, my left leg wants to move a little bit. Don't be rigid, but be strong there. Try not to let the leg move. Woo! Come on, come on, come on. Last four. Three. Two. Beautiful. Bring it down. Both legs down. Left leg out. Right foot is flat. Just pause. Hands on your belly. Feel the emptiness of the belly. Like when you exhale, the emptiness, that contraction. Start to imprint your spine down, your low back. Curl your shoulders up. Lift. Lift. Torso only. How long can you make that left leg? Yes. Happy.
shorten the front of the body. Four, three, two, hold the torso up. Just the leg, lift, release. I like to put my hand on my belly here and I like to feel that exhale, that emptiness, that contraction. Leg stays long, always. If you need a break, put your head down, put your shoulders down. So I've talked about this before, but I can't make the assumption that you're all here every single class. Your neck's gonna get tired. If the muscles of your neck aren't strong and the muscles of your abs aren't strong or one of them isn't strong, it's a, it's a long time to be up here. You just take a break. And eventually, you start to get more comfortable there. The muscles know how to respond. You get stronger in your center and you come back when you're ready. Whew. We're gonna do that twist, are you ready? Oh, I almost messed it up. I did mess it up, but I fixed it. Shoulder crosses, not elbow, shoulder. I mean, the elbow can come across, but it has to be from the shoulder. That's where the good stuff happens. Don't fake it. Hold it. Shoulders down. Left leg up, right foot down. Knee is bent. Single leg bridge. Let's go up. So that right hip is the driver. Right foot is your foundation with your shoulders, with your arms. But don't let this left hip hang back. Reach the foot up so the hips stay pretty level. Four more, come on. Four, three, two. This one you're gonna hold up, hold it. Leg goes a little side to side. Be strong in this right leg without being too rigid. So if your hips need a little play, that's great. Give it, but try not to move a lot. So this hip, this right hip, is the stabilizer. Those glutes, whoo. Almost out, almost out, but not quite. Two more. One more, one more. Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Oh, release it down, soles of the feet together. Shavasana. No, I'm kidding. You don't get Shavasana, sorry. Soles of the feet together. And lift. There's about 400 other yoga classes on the schedule. You get Shavasana there. You just don't get it with me today. Come back on Friday if you want Shavasana. I could change my mind, by the way, and have a Shavasana at the end, but I don't anticipate it because I run out of time every single class. But that's why this is like, we are an express class. We gotta get it all in. 
walk in my shoes. Release the shoulders down. Okay, watch first. If this doesn't work, you're gonna do a regular um, bridge with both feet flat, lifting and lowering. If this works, you're gonna lift up. You push your feet down, you come up. Soles of the feet are pressing together. The pinky sides of your feet are cutting down into the ground. Not everything feels great on every body. You're gonna hold it up, hold it up. So if you're in a regular bridge with your feet flat, you're still holding it. If you're here in this like Supta Baddha Konasana bridge, <laughs> you're gonna tip side to side. You're gonna take your time and kind of explore and see how does that feel on my body? Because you can always test it and decide it's not good for you but I do want you to keep it kind of slow. One more each way. Hold it center, a little higher, and then release it down. Hug your knees into your chest, so good. And then rock up. Mini band if you've got it. You can do this without a mini band. You can do this without a mini band. It's going to go around your feet. All right. As I mentioned, I've got, I don't know if they're one or two pounds, but I've got a one or a two pound weight around my ankles. So it's going to give me a little extra something, something here. You're coming down onto your forearms. We're starting in a forearm plank to start. Hands can be laced, hands can be separated. Front ribs in, engage the glutes, thighs are strong. Shoulder blades wide, collarbones broad. Knees down. All right, I started you on your forearms because I want you to be able to feel that you're gonna keep that forearm plank. Don't lose that energy. It's really, really, really important. Hands apart, fingers laced, whatever feels good. Tuck your right toes, take your left leg back. Lift. Push the ground away. Front ribs up and in. Right hip is pinning in. Try not to hang off onto that right side. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Hold the leg up. Little, just barely bend the knee. Push, bend, push. Keep it high. Oh my goodness. Again, eight, seven, six, four, three, two. Take that leg back. You're back into forearm plank. Hold it. Hold it, breathe. Hold it, breathe. Hold it, breathe. Knees tap, lift up. Knees tap, lift up. Try not to move anything else other than the knees. I mean, obviously, the legs move a little bit. But not your torso. Try not to move your torso. And knees down. Okay. Tuck the left toes, right leg back. Lift. Lift. I'm a big fan of like 
negotiating your space continually. So when I first set up, like sometimes I'm like, this is the right position. And then I start to move and I'm like, mm, it's not the right position. You don't have to like stay where you are. Renegotiate your space as much as you need to. This next one up, you're gonna hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Just soften the knee, soften, press. Almost out, almost out. Whew. Two more. Oh my gosh. Beautiful. Oh, stretch it back. Dying over here. You need your mini ball if you've got one. I know it took me this long to get there. Those of you who just got one and are excited to use it. But I got here. Between the shoulder blades first, just let it feel good. Oh yes, doesn't that feel lovely? You can move around any amount. Inhale, your exhale curls you up. Shorten, alternating the knees up, alternating the knees up. That was like three words in one. Four words. These little ankle weights are like seriously putting the hurt on me today. If you feel like you need to up your game, it's an easy, easy way. Pull back. Right leg stays up. Hands back behind the head. We wrap. So we've done crunches, but we haven't had a chance to do this full, big extension right here. Control it. My back just cracked. Oh, that felt so good. Hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Reach. Switch your feet. Hands behind your head. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Big wrap, big wrap. You're in the home stretch, I promise you. Last two right here. Take it up, hold it up. Reach. Both knees up. And then feet down and just wrap the ball. So good.
carefully come off the ball. Ah, have a seat. I mean, you're already down, but have a seat, like sit up. Cross one ankle over your thigh. Open up your chest. We're done. Switch it. Such good work. Cross at your shins, side bend. Big breath, let your hip get heavy. Switch. I time my music to keep me on track and no matter what. Come back up, big breath in. You are done.